So what are some of the monitoring tools uh, that DevOps people used in the system? Yeah, actually, uh, we keep saying that it highly depends on the size and the skills of the team, but like also like on the company's culture and on the team's culture. So same answer for, for, for this, but like what you can use, there are multiple tools. So the first, the, the one which is the most known one is like the ELK suites, um, the ELK stack, sorry. Uh, it fits like medium to large teams, so it's basically like um, a stack of free tools, so Elastic, Logstash, and Kibana. And this is used like to collect like logs, and you can have dashboards then and like um, generate insights and, uh, and stuff like this. There is also like Datadog, which is easy to implement, and it fits teams that do not want to patch too much time on this kind of matters. When I say this kind of matter, is like setting up logging and APM and monitoring. So Datadog is really nice. And yeah, it fits like team which are mostly focused on dev and don't have much time to like set up an ELK stack, for example. Yeah. Um, for insight related to machine usage, so for example, like uh, memory consumption, um, uh, CPU usage, uh, disk usage, um, the IO, networking IO and everything, you can use Prometheus. You, you can have a look at that. but. Of course, like if you don't have time to set up these tools, because these tools are mostly cloud diagnostic, I would say. So you can also use the services provided by the chosen cloud providers. So for example, if you're using IWS, you can use uh, CloudWatch. Um, CloudWatch like uh, apps, like uh, you, you can have logs in CloudWatch, you can have metrics in CloudWatch, you can build dashboards with CloudWatch. So this is, this is a nice tool. So for example, if you don't have much time, yeah, you should definitely use the services provided by the chosen cloud provider. So you have also this kind of services on Azure and on GCP, of course, because as we told you, like um, it's good to have this theoretical knowledge, uh, because this cloud understanding knowledge, because you think you will find like the same services in all cloud providers at different costs uh, with different strategy and different features, but mostly like the ID is the same is monitoring. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I would say like monitoring is very important. Like you have to understand like why companies uh, work a lot of time, you know, and spend a lot of time for these monitoring tools, because there can be a case, some of the customer who is using your platform from a far away country and that person is facing some issue, right? So you, how you get to know that that person, particular person is facing some issue, maybe like it can be a case like in your region, there is no issue in the platform, but for a person using your platform from, uh, for instance, India or Pakistan is facing some issue, mm. but people who are using the platform from Kuala Lumpur or like Singapore, they're not facing an issue. So using these monitoring tools, you get to mm. know, okay, what is the page load time from this country? What is the page load time from this country? What is the performance metrics? What is, you know, the server capacity and the server usage? So you get to know like a lot of things you know so that's why these tools are very important like uh as uh, thomas mentioned about the elk suit like it is like a very detailed they have like a lot of things and i would say it is like one of the industry best yeah yeah say? it's like yeah it's it's like one of the industry best of course not everyone is happy with it because yeah. like it's it's not that easy to maintain and, yeah. and all and of course like it's an added value but it's also an added like um um responsibility like to, to maintain because it's just an over tool that you deploy and that you have to update that you have to apply security patches so so yeah, yeah, yeah. right and then I, I would say in the end that if you're looking for something you know very simple then uh, I would say Sentry is also a good tool because mm. a Sentry mm. is like very easy like I think like with it uh, using just like adding three or four lines you can integrate Sentry in your backend yeah. repository or front end and then Sentry also included the performance metrics uh, the error report the unhandled errors and stuff like that it is not as powerful as like these other tools like uh, but it is also a very good tool I would say yeah yeah like, because APM is definitely like um, an important matter as well uh, you can do APM with Datadog you can do APM with Elastic.co as well and these are great tools and yeah keep in mind that monitoring and collecting logs might seem in the first place like it might seem like a single secondary thing like not that important matter but actually like how do you want to scale and improve your product if you don't know why it works in production like it's yeah. it's, it's it's essential it's, it's central actually yeah 